So we've just commemorated the 30th anniversary of the Gulf War um, and some veterans of Malamart rode 670 miles across England in memory of their former comrades. Could you just talk to us about sort of camaraderie is how fundamental that is in the military and the Air Force? Huge. Uh, from my perspective, obviously, I was, I was in yep. while the Gulf War was on. I uh, had colleagues out there um, and some who I knew lost their lives and some who were POWs. Um, so the whole context of that going to war, which I never experienced apart from yeah. uh, people that were in the, in the service at the time. Um, it's a question I get asked a lot about what I miss about the Air Force, and I miss the flying. I was a low-level low uh, pilot. I miss that big time. The camaraderie within the Air Force, just the yeah. same that both of us will know what it's like when we're playing team sport. Yeah. The biggest thing I miss uh, is that sense of camaraderie. Yeah. Very proud of being um, a light blue very proud of uh, having served the Air Force um, and when you know that some people have given the ultimate sacrifice you know it's something that um, is very strong because of that camaraderie we have yeah. we know that if we didn't have a semblance of that there's no way we could do the job we could do because yeah. of what we have to do and what we are called upon to potentially do and so I think it's vitally important so this year COVID-19 restrictions have been lifted so we're now to like we, we can now have enabling people to commemorate Remembrance Day. Why is it important to remember those that not only fought for our freedom, but those who continue to fight for our freedom? I think it's hugely important from the point of view of it not just being about us who have served or yeah. been involved with the military, but it's about the whole of society. Remember the reason why we, we do Remembrance Day. Um, sometimes society can forget that it's our forefathers that we're mainly doing, but anybody who's lost their life have put their life on the line to try and preserve our society in the way, of, you know, the way we live. For me, it, it massively puts everything into perspective. I think to have that day to just, it almost parks everything that's going on. Like we've obviously had a pretty terrible two years, but I think just to stop and reflect, I think it's, it's massively important. It just, all those sort of worries just sort of disappear. You think oh, but what people must have gone through, veterans that have served, veterans that have passed on now that the sacrifice that we can still live this life I think that's massively just to to stop everything to to just have that reflection to think this is this is what we're sort of celebrating this is what we're remembering and mm. um, I think we probably don't do enough around Remembrance Day about four people that are currently serving I think you sort of associate Remembrance Sunday with people that served in the world wars people that served probably now we're sort of t starting to remember the Gulf War but I think just generally people that do sacrifice, not necessarily going to war to, or in, into a d detachment, but I think just to the sacrifice that of being part of the military is huge. And I think what that sacrifice is to your family, to the people around you, like I think that also has to be recognised. So following on that whole context, as you were saying about um, Remembrance Day, um, it's interesting to hear your thoughts when you do the two minute silence, what you're thinking about. It just makes it a bit more real to a lot of the people that s people like myself semester rock and from the army like we are serving i think mm. we stand to attention we stand to attention for the last post and i think again it just makes it a little bit more real for everyone around i think people just associate remembrance day with the world wars but i think just actually there is a, a current military there are currently people serving overseas and just just a time to reflect on how it's affected them how it's affected families how it's affected communities before playing a rugby game it can be a little bit distracting but i think it just Nothing like the rugby doesn't matter. It's all about just remembering and understanding the sacrifice people gave years ago, but also that are currently doing that as well. Yeah, I 100% agree with you. I think I sometimes reflect on those that I know that have fallen. Yeah. Um, during my time in, um, and I sometimes go through the sort of forgotten soldier, the sort of grey sort of that they're all morphed into yeah, one, yeah, and yeah. I sort of think about the impact. Uh, that it has on their families, as I said to you before. But I think also, I sometimes reflect, it's, it's in a stadium with 85,000 people and it is stunned silent, silence. Yeah. It's also a reminder that it's not just who are in the military that always yeah. remember, that there is the wider society. And that, 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 that I feel really heartening and people do think about it that's outside the military. Yeah. So sometimes that I reflect on, you know, the two minute silence is being well regarded now and it's, and it's good to see.